I'm 76 years old. He was a NFL football player. I'm sure everybody knows who he was. And he died at 76 years old. Prostate cancer. Famously on trial in 1994 for the murder of his wife, Nicole Brown, and her friend, Ron Goldman, in 1994. So here's Nicole Brown. Not bad. Here they are together. Here's Ron Goldman. I just love this guy's hair. It's fantastic. And I think allegedly she was intimate with this guy. And they say that might be why OJ went after them. Look at this guy. I love the hair. So OJ Simpson. And yeah, when he was on trial, he had this, uh, if the glove don't fit, you must acquit. And he kept trying to put the glove on, but he had, he had these white gloves underneath it. And so the glove would not fit. And here he is again. I just love his face here. He's like, huh, why won't it? I don't understand. So he got off uh, not guilty in 1994. Played college football for the USC Trojans. He won the Heisman Trophy. 94, he was arrested and charged with the murders of Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman. Acquitted in a lengthy and internationally publicized trial but found liable in a civil suit three years later. So in America, you can be found not guilty in a criminal trial and then the family sued him and he lost to the victim's families and it says he owed 33 33 and a half million dollars prior to his death Simpson had paid very little of that 33 million dollars so then here's the twist in 07 OJ was arrested in Las Vegas and charged with armed robbery and kidnapping he was convicted and sentenced to 33 years in prison. So he didn't do a day for the murder of Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman, but he got convicted for 33 years with a minimum of nine years without parole. He served his sentence in Nevada. He got parole, released from prison, early release. He died at the age of 76 from prostate cancer. Pretty amazing. So then I looked at this, it says in 95, after his acquittal for murder, OJ began a relationship with Christy Prody, which lasted for 13 years. At the time their relationship started, she was 19 years old and working as a cocktail waitress. After their relationship ended, she said that she often feared for her life during the relationship. And so let's have a look at Christy Prody. Here's when they were together. She was pretty, she was a pretty girl. OJ Love Child rescued from Drig Den. She did not, uh, she kind of hit the wall here. Here she is winking. The wall is real. So yeah, dead, 76. In his uh, criminal trial, he had these lawyers, because he had lots of money. He was an NFL star. Johnny Cochran was an American attorney best known for his leading role in the defense and criminal acquittal of O.J. Simpson for the murder of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend Ron Goldman. He often defended his client with rhymes such as, if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. And then here's another one of his lawyers, Rob Kardashian. Who is Robert Kardashian? This is the mother of Kim Kardashian. He had four children with his first wife. 
Chris Kardashian, Courtney Kardashian, Kim Kardashian, Chloe, and Rob Kardashian. So he gained recognition as O.J. Simpson's friend and defense attorney during the 1995 murder trial. And then you had Robert Shapiro, who also defended the Menendez. So yeah, they say in America, if you have enough money, you can get away with anything. But he did lose the civil trial. Uh, Las Vegas robbery. In 2007, a group of men led by OJ entered a room at the Palace Station Hotel Casino and took sports memorabilia at gunpoint, which resulted in him being questioned by police. OJ admitted to taking the items which he said had been stolen from him. So he just wanted to get back his stolen stuff. But he denied breaking into the hotel room. He also denied that anybody had a gun. Two days later, he was arrested, held without bail. He was charged with multiple felony, criminal conspiracy, kidnapping, assault, robbery, and using a deadly weapon. So they had a plea bargain. He faced possible life sentence with parole and kidnapping and mandatory prison time for armed robbery. 33 years prison sentence, but I think he did nine years. And then he wrote this book that said, If I Did It, Confessions of the Killer. It's a book by O.J. Simpson in which Simpson puts forth a pro supposedly hypothetical description of the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman. The book is based on extensive discussions. So he didn't say I did it. He said, if I did it, here's how I would have done it. I think he was just trying to make some money. I don't know how many copies that book sold. They made some movies. And that's how OJ died. They said you can't stop the juice. He played for the 49ers. He was an amazing running back. Rushing record in 1973. A thousand yards in three seasons. Here he is in 1964. High school. 1964 school portrait. It says Simpson, O.J. Simpson was an aspiring track athlete. In 1967, he lost a 100 meter race at Stanford University against the British record holder, Menzies Campbell, when he was in university. Before playing football at USC, University of Southern California, he ran in the sprint relay quartet that broke the world record in the 4 by 110 yard relay at the NCAA Track Championships in Provo, Utah on June 17, 1967. So the guy was just incredible. What an athlete. And I think he was in... Uh, some movies, what movies was he in? Let's find him in, I think it was in Airplane. OJ Simpson. Uh, in movie. Comedy, yeah. Naked Gun, that's the one. YouTube. Detective Nordberg in Naked Gun. O.J. Simpson, Naked Gun. Let's have a look here. Naked Gun, two and a half. O.J. Simpson. Yeah, this is the one.
So he's got a tank. So he was in some movies. Yeah, all right. What do you guys think? Did he do it? Did he kill Nicole Brown Simpson? Did he kill Ron Goldman? Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe.